Hey, it's Jonathan Soul Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the boulevard in Enterprise. And I'm standing with the CX-5 today, 2020 model, uh, to go over how to, uh, well, a few quick, quick steps on how to change your tire. So with the holiday weekend here, I know there's gonna be a lot of coming and going and out and about. And if you find yourself in that sticky situation with uh, tire troubles, I wanna point out a few things so that you can get back on the road in a hurry. So the first tip, of course, if your vehicle is still under the three year, 36,000 mile uh, comprehensive warranty is to call Mazda Roadside Assistance. And that number is 800-866-1998, which was a very good year. Intergalactic, that's all I gotta say. So uh, again, 800-866-1998. Uh, also, if you have, uh, if you're downloaded or logged in or registered, to the My Mazda app, you can just click a couple of buttons and call roadside assistance right away. Of course, in the case of emergency, always dial 911. So let's um, dive into actually changing the tire yourself if you're out of warranty or are in a situation where you can't uh, wait or are no cell service or whatever the situation is. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing you do is open up the back lift gate and underneath this protective cover here or cargo mat lies all your tools and your spare tire all right so you see you have all your tools right here uh, jack tire tool uh, jack tool and also an extra um, adjustment here for when you put the original tire back in there or the one that's on the ground right now so the first thing we want to do while we're back here is go ahead and remove the Bose subwoofer which of course is the grand touring and higher and then some equipped tourings uh, so you'll notice that this has a uh, bolt on it here the tire tool fits there and you just turn it counterclockwise until it loosens up Then you have this, you can set it right over here. And then you just grab this by the handle and remove it. And you can unclip it here also to get it out of the way. But you also have where you can pull this out and just slide it out of the way and remove the spare tire. Now I have folded these rear seats down and put that cover back, but you can fold it as you see and just remove it. Uh, now we're gonna get the jack out and the tire tool and the jack tool. Okay, with these tools here, you notice this little ridge right here on the jack. If you'll feel underneath past this cladding here, you can see that break right there past there you can slide your hand back and there's a ridge where that sheet metal comes together and what you want to do is line this up where this thicker side is on that uh, body panel and the ridge slides right in there so what that does actually I'm sorry let me twist it around so this thicker part the ridge slides in there and the thicker part will be towards the vehicle so what that does is when you are opening the jack and things are getting a little unstable it locks in there so your jack will not slide off of the vehicle so you want to make sure and line that ridge up as you raise this so I'm gonna slide it under here I'm gonna go ahead and Loosen this up a little bit. All right, so I've got the jack positioned where it's met the uh, sheet metal. And before I attach this uh, tire tool to help with uh, lifting the jack, I wanna go ahead and break these uh, lugs on the tire we're removing so that while they're still on the ground, 
I can get a little bit of uh, friction there so I can, it'll help me break these and loosen them up. All right, so let's just picture that these are now loosened, but not off. And what you can do is slide this in there, and then you can hold one piece and turn it, and you can see that it creates a nice little handle to lift up the vehicle. And you can just double check that the grooves are lined up there, and you can keep turning. It'll start to get a little bit of uh, pressure as you try to lift it off the ground and you keep turning it until you get it enough clearance to remove the tire. Now in the event of a tire being slack or blown out or flat, um, you're going to have to lift it higher than actually what it is to get the tire off so that way you can put the temporary on. So let's go get that temporary. Now you can see that this temporary is uh, the full height so if this was a 17 inch tire here, it'd be the exact height of that 17 inch tire. So still safe to drive on, uh, of course, low speeds. It does have a high PSI because it's a smaller tire. Um, and then you wanna, of course, take all safety precautions in uh, low speeds and short distances. So basically just designed to get to the next location, dealership, tire store, whatever the case may be. Um, so once we have loosened the lug nuts remove this tire, then everything will match up right and you'll tighten them up there with your tire tool. In the case of a rear tire issue or flat tire, the same groove will be located again, not here, but right over here is where you would mount that and the same groove is right there. So it's the same, line, line up the same, just that you, um, are doing it in the rear position instead of the front position. Thanks for joining me for this look at how to change a tire. I hope you don't find yourself in, in need of this uh, video this weekend. Uh, however, in, always in case of emergency, call 911. And uh, if roadside assistance is available, give them a shout as well. It'll save you from uh, breaking a sweat like I was. Uh, but if you have any comments or questions about the process of changing a tire, go ahead and drop them below so that I can respond and, and help you get on the road and get on your way. And uh, I wish you a very happy, fun, and safe Labor Day weekend. And uh, I'll see you in another video and see you down the road.